Hey kindergarten, I hope you are having an awesome, fabulous Thursday and you are ready for math. So let's get started. Okay, here on my 10 frame, I have built a number and I want you to press pause and see if you can figure out what number I'm representing. Okay, so how many did you get? How many did you see on my 10 frame? You may have solved this just by counting by ones. So let's do that first. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you may have gotten that there are eight on my 10 frame. You may have solved in a different way. You may have, um, been able to look at this 10 frame and see that there were just two open spaces and you know that this is 10 and then you happen to know two less than 10 is eight. So you may have been able to see that this was eight without counting. You may have arranged some things differently in your brain to see this number more easily. You may have taken this counter or one of the other counters and moved it into this blank to make a row of five so you may have been able to say five, six, seven, eight. You may have moved that counter and this was able to, by moving it, you were able to quickly see that this was eight because this is usually how we see eight. Sometimes it's arranged differently, but this is a common way you see it. So you may have gotten eight in several different ways. Um, I think this counter was here, right? So you may have um, moved some counters in your head like this to make a double, four plus four. There's another way you can make eight. I've not even told you all the ways that you could make eight, so there may have been a way out there that you did that I did not show. But as long as you were able to look at this and quickly see that it was eight, you did a good job. Okay, let's look at our word problem for today. Here it is. All right, let's read it together. Jill has five polka dotted bows and two solid colored bows. How many bows does Jill have in all? Okay. So let's read back through and listen for the question this time. Jill has five polka dotted bows and two solid colored bows. How many bows does Jill have in all? Okay. Let's solve, or not solve, sorry, I'm not thinking straight. Let's listen. What was the question that you heard? How many bows does Jill have in all, right? That's the question. Sorry, I don't know what my brain was thinking. Okay, so we're trying to figure out bows. Anything about bows is going to be important. So let's go back through and read to find the important information. Jill has five polka dotted bows and two solid colored bows. What's important there? Five, right? Because that one was about polka dotted bows. And then two solid colored bows. How many bows does Jill have in all? Okay, we have found the important information. Now we're going to solve the problem. Okay. Let's start by planning out what we're going to do. So Jill has five polka dotted bows and two solid colored bows. And we want to know how many in all. So we know the parts, right? We know part of the bows were polka dotted. Five of them were polka dotted. And we know two were solid colored. We're trying to figure out how many there were in all. So if we want to know in all how many there are, we're going to have to do what? We're going to have to add. All right, so we're going to be adding five plus two to figure out how many that equals. You can write this equation or number sentence like this. It could also be written like this. Either way works. They both show five plus two. Okay. So now let's solve. To solve this the first time, because remember we want to solve it twice to make sure we get the same answer both times. The first time we solve, I'm going to draw a picture. So I'm going to draw a picture of my five polka dotted bows. Oops, 
one. I'm gonna, uh, let me start over because I think those are going to be too big. I gotta add polka dots to these in a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so these were all of the polka dotted bows. And then there were two solid. Solid just means that it's all one color. Okay, so we want to know how many in all. So remember, in all means we need to count all together. So let's figure out how many there are. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Miss Clark did something wrong. What did I do wrong? Oh my goodness, I see what I did. There were only supposed to be five polka dotted bows, but I put how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's not right. I should have double checked that before I solved my problem. Let's try this again now with the right information. Okay, so there were five polka dotted bows and two solid colored bows. Let's try to solve this now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven bows all in all. Did anybody catch my mistake before I did? You may have been paying attention and caught it before me. Sometimes we do that. So it's always important to double check your work to make sure that you have um, it drawn out correctly or built correctly before you solve. Okay, this time, I'm going to use counters to make sure I get seven again. Okay, so there were five polka dotted bows. One, two, three, four, five, and then two solid color. One, two. How many are there in all? Let's count, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now I have gotten seven both times, so I know that this is correct. Five plus two equals seven. All right. Let's move on to our lesson for today. Today, we're going to be representing numbers by drawing out pictures. So you may want to get a whiteboard if you have one at home and a dry erase marker, or maybe you have paper and pencil. You can do that as well. We're gonna work on drawing some pictures today though. Okay, so the first number that we're going to represent is the number 16. Okay, so let's build 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So here's a way that we can represent 16 using a picture. We can also spell out the words 16. Sixteen. Here's a way to represent sixteen. All right, let's do another one. Can you represent this number? What number is that? That's the number 12, right? So see if you can represent the number 12 by drawing a picture. Press pause and then start it up again when you're finished. Okay. So to represent 12, you don't have to always do circles like I did. This time I think I'll do stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this represents 12. What letter does 12 start with? T -t -t 12. 12 starts with T. -t, -t. So tw 12. 12. Here's how we spell 12. All right, guys, I want you, I'm going to leave you with a number I want you to try to represent on your own at home. See if you can represent this number at home. What number is that? 20. See if you can represent with pictures 20 at home. I'll see you next time. Bye.